Welcome back. You're still watching The Globe on the SABC News Channel. Let's recap our top stories this hour. Seven suspects have been arrested in connection with the murder of senior Gauteng Health Department finance official Babita Deokaran. The recent outbreak of violence in KwaZulu-Natal and Gauteng has worsened conditions of some poverty-stricken communities in the two provinces. And Transport Minister Fikile Mbalula has announced an extension to the grace period for the renewal of driver's licenses. The office of the Speaker of the Northwest uh, Legislature has confirmed that they have received a resignation letter from former Premier Job Mohoro, stating that he is vacating his seat in the legislature. This paves the way now for 67-year-old Bushi Mape to be sworn in as a member of the legislature and later to be elected as uh, the province's Premier. The ANC's Interim Provincial Committee, the IPC, has been calling for Mohoro removal, accusing him of not taking instructions from the party. Reporter Zebulon Maine has the story. Former Northwest Premier Job Mokhor has finally tendered his resignation letter as member of the Northwest Legislature after stepping down as Premier yesterday. The Speaker received a resignation letter from Honorable Mohoro resigning as a member of the legislature with immediate effect, thereby creating a vacancy uh, amongst the members of the ANC as the ruling party, as Ndate Mohoro is the member of the ANC. The ANC's IPC has welcomed the latest developments. The ANC in the Northwest Province wishes to convey profound appreciation to Comrade Job Mohoro for accepting the decision of the organization to redeploy him. We sincerely wish him well in all his future endeavours. Opposition parties in the provincial legislature say once the process of electing a new premier starts, they will put their own candidates forward as well. The proposed premier from the ANC, we are not um, happy with him. So as the DA will be introducing our own candidate to take him on and to stand against him because we believe that his previous history shows that he has been the advisor to Mohoro. So part of the decisions that Mdete Mohoro did and took means that he was there, he was with him. Him, he assisted him, unless of course he would come up and say that I assisted Mohoro to make mistakes so that I can take over his position. So we have no confidence in him. This time then, we are not going to support uh, anybody from the ANC. As long as that person is coming from the ANC, we are not going to support. But if that person is coming somewhere, maybe we can uh, go and rethink. Because I think mean, this thing of the ANC recycling people and then useless people, what does it does not make any sense. MEC for Treasury Motalipulu Khosho will continue to act as Premier following her appointment by the Provincial Executive Council yesterday until a new Premier is elected. Zeblon Maine, SABC News, Mahikeng. Well, to talk to us a little bit more about Job Mkhora's resignation, we're now joined on the line by political analyst from the Itswana University of Technology, Levi Ndo. Thanks so much indeed for joining us. Um, it's taken a while, but the resignation has finally come. Peter, good evening to you. Good evening to the viewers at all. Yes, indeed, it has to happen. Um, I think it's also important to note that representatives are actually sent there by political parties. And if indeed the ANC has actually decided that someone has to be removed from the position, indeed it's supposed to happen. But I think it's also important that the ANC and those that are responsible for deploying people into positions of power must look at the interests of the community at heart. And I think at this time they should have considered that. Why do you think he took so long to resign? Is it that he was unhappy with being redeployed as the ANC describes it as? Well, I think Job has been in the ANC for some time. 
and he has been given the responsibility to stabilize a number of uh, departments in government. And also at the same time, I think he wanted to ensure that there's proper handover of power from him to the, to the uh, next person. But also at the same time, um, the dynamics in the Northwest province requires um, someone who is very much um, uh, mature who has to deal and focus on the interests of the people. And I think what Job wanted to do was to lay the table and provide mm. proper handover of power to the next person. It might have been frustrating for those who wanted him to get out of power, but I think the time that he was given was sufficient for him to ensure that there's sufficient end of power to the next person. Would you say then that his mission has been successful, um, or are there voices you think that will probably say that uh, he didn't quite do enough? When there is a lot of instability and corruption and people that are placed in positions without sufficient capacity to deliver, it will always be difficult for anybody to deal with those issues. But I think Mohoro tried his best to, dis- to destabilize the situation in the Northwest. And anybody who has to take over from him must make sure that he takes the bet and ensure that there's sufficient work that is supposed to be done in the interest of everybody in the province. Okay, so look, he is deployed by the ANC. Was he able to stamp his own authority or... Um, the ANC, uh, as we know, it, it works in terms of they send someone and they advise in terms of policy and expect those incumbents to follow through. Well, the ANC pro, uh, policies are clear. The only challenge that the ANC has, which is continuous, are sections. The implementation of ANC policies could not be a challenge. The challenge in the ANC would be the factions. And the ANC would, for me, ensure that everybody is deployed, even the province, at local government, national government, must always be the person who must ensure that there's proper implementation of ANC policies. And for me, George Mohoro should actually look at what he has actually done in terms of policy issues, and that must also uh, uh, be the the situation that has to be happen with the next person who must occupy the next position. Levin Do, it's uh, always good to talk to you. Thanks very much indeed uh, for your insights. All right, that's uh, Levin Do a political analyst there talking to us about the resignation letter which finally arrived it took some time uh, job mukhoro is no longer the premier of the northwest province